Hello, welcome to part 10 of the Great Car Basic Training. Um, we're getting there slowly. Um, so today we're going to be using software to communicate um, via the serial uh, communications capabilities of the microcontroller to a personal computer terminal. I happen to be using Windows, you could be using anything. And we're going to show eventually the value of the potentiometer that we've got connected to our little PCB. So we're going to focus on serial communications. The um, We've gone through setting it all up, and today serial communications to this terminal. And tomorrow, because today we're only sending data out, tomorrow we're going to be sending it in both directions, which is pretty cool. Um, what have I got? I've got a uh, little PIC. Um, it's connected to a PIC kit too for pro purposes of programming, and it's a 16F18313, one of the newer chips from Microchip. What is it? It's a little pig dip uh, device. It's got eight ports on it, and I'm going to connect. We've been connecting things and LEDs to this, and we're going to connect a serial connector to this. So how do we go about doing that? Well, um, what we need to do is uh, we need to, let me just set my pointer out, we need, we're going to connect something to the RA5 and the, the data is going to come out of here, digital data is going to come out of here, whoop, it's going to go through a USB TTL serial adapter onto the computer. Now, what is a USB TTL serial adapter? This is, this is one of them. Let me just show you, there we go, get a bit of focus. Is that in focus? Keep trying to show me. Oh, I know another way of showing it. I'll put it under the lamp. There we go. Oh, there's one. They look like that. USB at one end. Serial at the other. Now, I... Um, I always have the brown. Let me just show you. The brown here... Is my ground. I always have yellow as my receive. Orange as my transmit. Now we're only going to be using the ground zero and yellow receive today because we're going to send data down here. And so I'm just going to plug that in into my um, board down here. And on the lab lot, you'll see that I've actually already done this to save a bit of time. I've connected the brown to this black. Okay, this, this is my ground supply. And then I've hooked it into this pin here, pin number two. Okay, and that's what I've done. So, and that's what I've done, okay. So let's go back to PowerPoint to know what we're doing today. So we, I've connected into this, into here. You can see it on the screen. I've connected it into here. And the zero happens to be any of these verticals here. So you can actually, all of these, top and bottom are all, all zero volts. Okay, so I put my ground in there. I've got my TTL connected to here. Okay, off to my PC. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to make it say hello world and then we're going to send out the ADC value and then we're going to scale that value and we're going to scale that value so that we can just show you a new command called scale. Okay. All right. Let's get into um, where we are. Uh, currently, I guess the camera is. Um, yeah, there we are. The. The LED is flashing where we left it yesterday. So I'm just going to zoom in on Synrite and we're going to start with an empty um, bit of kit. All right. We know how to put the chip in. So we're going to do that again because I'm going to start afresh. Now, I've not done this before, this one. Okay. So we're going to do this live. Okay. Okay. Option explicit. Now, what we need to do as before, we need to connect the PPS of this the PPS we have to use PPS on on here to connect the um, the internal USB capability to the um, that little pin number five so I'm just going to start up PPS so I'm going to click on PPS in here you can see me click that icon and then in the little editor thing here on my right hand side I've got to select PPS so you can see it there we go PPS here's my chip pre-selected and I'm just going to pick the transmit TX and I'm going to put that on RA5 and press add. Quick swig of coffee. I'll take a copy of that and then I've got it in my cut and paste buffer and I'm going to go back into Synrite and I'm then going to paste it into here. Okay. So, so I need to set up the serial. That set up the internal chip mechanisms. 
I'm now going to set up the um, syntax for uh, the serial communications. Well, if I the, the command is actually H C H hardware H H as hardware serial. Okay, and, and that is how we're going to send hello world. Okay, so but we do need to set up a couple of constants. Press F1. If we look at the desktop here. I pressed F1 there, and I get what's called the enabling constants showed to me. If I just take a copy of these enabling constants here, I will paste them into here, and they are the enabling constants. And it says that I'm going to have a communication baud rate of 9.600, and these two are just to ensure that um, the data is sent sufficiently. It's sent out before it's in the next part, and there's no delays. Okay, And we can go to those later, but the minimum is you need that top line. Okay, all right? So I'm going to say um, do forever. We've seen that before. I'm going to put a, put it in a loop. Great. I'm going to have a little wait so that we can see it on the screen. Okay. All right. Wait one second. And all I'm going to say in, in the H serial print, because it's a string, hello world. All right. I am going to compile that up and send it to that chip, okay? Oh, I've got to save it now. What is it? Training 10A. Did it compile it? Well, it's done something. Great. Okay, so it's done that. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to start up a piece of terminal software. And look, I press on the word terminal here. And then it opens up a terminal and you can see it is saying hello world now it's doing it continually because in my program in my haste to show you the program here i um did not uh, put a carriage return line feed in so let's put a let's hc i can see all the commands here they're all listed for me h serial print carriage return line feed send that to the computer to the chip Hello world. Now, if I click into here, it now sends them out and put a new. It puts a new line carriage return. Now, how am I doing this? Um, I, I've got. There we go. I could actually just leave it on the defaults. There we go. So we've just done the hello world stuff. So let me just block. Let me just block that stuff out. Okay. All right. I'm just going to block that st those commands out. Great, and now I'm going to put in some more code. Okay, we're going to develop this code. So if we take a copy of this, I'm going to send out that ADC value now. Okay. So I'm going to send out the ADC value. Read AD. We know that from yesterday and every other day. And a zero. I'm just going to send out that. I could send out some other text if I wanted to. H serial print read a d i'm sending a string then i'm sending a value then the carriage return line feed well it says it's equal to 130 so let's look at the lab shall we okay just change the view pick up my new screwdriver because i can't find the one i was using yesterday let me just uh, so look. All I'm all I'm going to do is rotate this pot here, okay? And the LEDs have stopped flashing, right? Okay. All I'm going to do is that, but I'm going to show you this terminal now. Let me see if this works. Seem right? And lab. That's supposed to be showing you the lab as well. It, for some reason, it doesn't do this. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. We got it all up at the same time. Um. <laughs> excited if you look at the um, value on the right yeah as I rotate the pot it goes down to zero and I'll zoom in on these in a moment for you if I rotate the pot you can see I'm rotating it it goes up to 236 that's because there is a limiting resistor here okay where my screwdriver is in the top right hand picture okay so let me just um, zoom in on have I got a zoom on terminal Oh, there we go. Look, look, terminals there. Look, let me just clear it. I'll clear that there. And then I'm going to 
it's sending out 236 and then if I rotate that look it goes to zero and I get those values so what I'm going to do in my source code is very quickly scale that now okay so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to scale so what does scale do well we know that the range that we've actually got because of the limiting resistor is zero to 236 but do you know what I would like a value of zero to 100 because that's what I want my in my brain I've got a little program that wants that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment out this code here I wish I could do that properly I'm going to um, I'm going to take the code we've just, just been using and I'm going to scale this now if I put this put uh, scale in here let me just pull that down for you so you can see it properly I'm going to type the word scale in here I can highlight that press F1 and I will get the help for the scale command and the scale command requires five parameters it requires a word an input value of a word a from a so the lower number to the higher number which is the from and then th there is a two what numbers do I want to scale it to the low and high and then there's a, a uh, optional word so let me just um, put that in there well we know what else we know that we want to read in the ad value which i'll leave there we know the lower value is zero we now know the upper value is 236 and we want to scale it to zero to 100. i'm going to put scaled value in here and we have successfully changed the scale of that okay now let me just bring that up for you just it's just uh, compiling it I'll just clear down the uh, terminal so that we get the numbers at the top it's at 146 if I go to the lower limit it's 100 if I go to the top limit the other end of it it's zero so I have now got communications between the microcontroller and my PC through the USB TTL only two wires are needed zero and the signal I plugged it into my computer and the piece I failed to show you I guess is in my soft in my um, in my terminal software I didn't show you this I selected a port okay I have a COM1 and this new port this USB is on COM23 I didn't show you me I didn't show you me my connecting to it I just connect to it and up it comes look and you there are lots of pieces of software out there that you might want to use but this is essentially what we've done so we've connected back to the camera connected this microcontroller to here into the PC software and we're sending data down that yellow wire this is converting the signal to ensure that the PC is happy about what it gets I am not going to do a deep dive into USB TTLs it they function plug it in send the data down we've seen that in great car basic we simply need a few commands and those few commands are set up the PPS if it's a PPS chip if it's not a PPS chip we don't need the PPS stuff set up the baud rate which is the baud rate our terminal software is set to and then we can send some strings out well with that, we'll call it the end of the training session.